this is jekelio and today we going to learn on how to differentiate the log files uh, based on the category in the mule soft especially right so i have created this uh, test api and uh, provided two loggers here one has the category as test c and with this with a message which has some stars in it and which is of a level info and i put another logger here and uh, which is of a trace level and has a category vv so remember the categories it's test c and test vv so we have to mention the in the log 4j that to recognize log 4j these categories and create a new log files so open the log 4j and here um, first we go from top to bottom approach so when you go down here in the logger section you will see a root level log async root and rest are async loggers um, they could be synchronous loggers it will be just logger tag but if it if you are using async then it will be async logger tag so here right um, make sure um, your async logger has a reference right and it refers to this basic log4j.xml you could find anywhere in the internet okay so do not worry about that and i'm just explaining you this uh, overall um, log4j configuration so i'm giving a reference to appender so this file is referred here so in the appenders there are two sections here one is logger section other is appender section so in the appender section we are referring to uh, a reference called file so it goes in here and uh, reads uh, logs with the file name of this mule home and separator and uh, with the uh, logs as a directory and then separator and then test api dot log and the file pattern followed by uh, so i would really concern I would really consider only the file name here to identify, right? So remember that and configure that if you if needed. And then rest all uh, the same thing like the size and default rollover strategy. Not really concerned about. So this is the root level. So whatever the info logs comes in through this MuleSoft application, um, especially these two, these three actually. Uh, which has service HTTP extension HTTP and then the logger message processor so any logs coming in th regarding these and if they are of info level um, or greater then they would log under this file name with the file name of test API dot log right and here now we have these two uh, categories right two different categories CSC and test V so for these i have created another async logger which are on the top here so here i've named it as test c and this name should be in sync so if i mention test c here and in the category here it has to be test c right and it doesn't matter if you give in for any other level it's fine and the second one gonna be test vv as you've seen earlier and i can remove the level here it doesn't really care and this is a key point so additivity additivity should be false so if this is false it doesn't add over in this uh, uh, info i mean i mean in the app log it does it avoids i'll show you what it, uh, what i'm talking about eventually so i'm basically referring to two different appenders i created two different appenders because i wanted two categories to be uh, two category of log files generated for both categories right so trace file and trace file v are the two rolling file names have created so these are again here mentioned here it refers to that appenders and i've just changed the name of the log file a little bit like app trace app trace vv dot log okay so our configuration is ready and let's run this api so our aim of this uh, 
testing is these two logs categories should be displayed in a two different log files the log file name are app trace app trace vv and rest of the info logs for the application everything will be generated in the test api dot log because this is info and we are referring it to the file rolling file hope you got that sense and and, and hope i make some i made some sense of what i'm explaining just save the changes running it so i've used a scheduler here so it automatically triggers whenever the application runs so that i don't need to really trigger manually right that's the whole essence of what i'm doing now and you have to find out where exactly this log files are generating on your local so that that place will be the reference of where you want to see right so here uh, logs two logs got just generated and i'm stopping this now i don't want to continue so this log time is 2317 right so i open my finder and Twenty three seventeen, and this is the log file for one of the category, and twenty three seventeen. Here it's not generated. Okay, and here twenty three seventeen, they are not generated here. So the two categories are excluded. From the app log, this is the app log. Test API dot log is the main application log where all the application logs gets uh, printed. So the thing I was talking about where to find logs is in your uh, in your uh, any points to in your apps, right? If it is MacBook in your applications, go to uh, show packet con package package content and then go to yeah i don't know why it's going on here so basically you have to enter into the yeah so basically you go into the content contents uh, eclipse and then plugins uh, in the plugins, uh, you have to search for the folders which have. So I'll basically sort by kind. So I get all the folders. So here you have to go for tooling dot server and the latest server. That's how you and find the logs. You see today's whenever the recent files, right? Which got generated. So based on that, you identify the logs. Uh, and you can open them here like you see so basically we right now we we were able to display these logs right info level successfully but these are of trace level and they didn't print in the console so i'm just going back and checking why the trace hasn't printed so if it is any other level uh, give level equal to trace okay and save it now test the applications So our aim now will be getting three logs printed. One is all this, whatever you are seeing in the console will be printed in one log, which has a, which has a name of test API dot log and the two category logs printed in a separate files. Let's open, since they are already open, I'm just opening this uh, Visual Studio. So all I care about the logs of 2320 times 2320, no logs, excellent. 
and here 2320 this log is printed and then 2320 this is also printed so guys this is how you differentiate log files for different categories in log4j and you can also watch this uh, log levels so all debug info warn error rattle of trace So if you put all in our application then it should pretty much print everything so I'm gonna test this as well just to see it's an experiment give it a few minutes And the time is 23.22. Going back, 23.22, log is displayed. 23.22, log is displayed. And here, 23.22, logs are not displayed. Perfect. So when you put all, no matter if you put trace, debug, error, it should still display the log and exclude. So now let's put this into the error and i'll change this one into debug okay and debug escape so you already know the expectation right this two log files has to be generated and exclude in the test api dot log application log. Our time is 2324. 2324. No logs in the test API.log. 2324. This is displayed. Fantastic. 2324. Error. And this is also displayed. Excellent. Everything works. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this is informative and helpful to you. See you in the next video. Thank you.